Hello traders out there in trader land. My name's Des, senior analyst and mentor here at Grok Trade, and welcome to the weekend edition. This video is good through Sunday, February 6, 2011. I'm going to earn my thumbs up today. <laughs> so if you think this is a good video, I'd, I ask you to give me a thumbs up down there. But we, on Friday, received news that unemployment rate is at 9%. We added 36,000 jobs. We have Egypt in turmoil. So be expecting higher gas prices due to that. And we also received jobless claims from last week where we showed a um, claims drop of 42 thousand industrials are strong and that comes by way of factory orders being up and retailers in january showing very strong same store sales and those numbers were impressive and furthermore we have bernanke pleased with the improvements and he but he does stress job creation being a mandatory thing for the economy to really get healthy and he's keeping his his foot on the gas. He's going to make that happen with um, increasing, <laughs> putting, pumping more money into the market. So we'll see how that plays itself out. So anyway, let's take a look at the markets. As you know, we look at the technicals on the daily, weekly, and monthly on all major broad markets. So stay with me here as we get going. The S&P Daily, we're over 1,300. We popped 1,300. We're at 1,310, almost 1,311 on the daily. That looks very, very strong. And I'm going to bring the weekly in here. And the weekly, we remain in this rising wedge formation. We have a little bit of room here. But gang, we need to stay in this channel or blast through that upper trend line what I don't want to see uh, if you're long that is is for us to smack our head here drop and then crash through this lower support area so the area that I'm looking for next week would put us a resistance level right around 1330 so be watching 13 1330 on the weekly chart. 1330, that's going to be a huge number. And let's bring our monthly in. Monthly has been going strong, going higher swing highs or higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, higher highs. We made another higher high. That is fantastic. Busting through the resistance here at 1300. As we said a minute ago, we're at 1310, almost 1311. As far as the month is concerned, we have some more room to grow. We do have at this area, right? Let's get that on there. We have an area right at about 1323 that's going to act as resistance. So we have 1323 and 1330 are two numbers that I want you to pay special attention to going into next week. But we are making higher highs, higher lows. Things look really good. Matter of fact, at the end of today, I'm doing this on Friday. Um, at the end of day Friday, uh, we had a nice push to close out the trading session. Here we are looking at the Dow. The Dow, as far as the daily is concerned, I'm going to go back and show you a couple this a couple swings here. Let's pull in a little more data. Go macro first here. We have swing high to swing high. Two major swing highs with a trend line going up. and And we're knocking at that door right now. So I don't see a lot of breathing room here, but this is a daily. I would say we have a major resistance coming in at 1213. That's 12,138 to 39 to 40. So 19, or I'm sorry, 12,100. And 38 to 40, 12,100 to 40 is going to be a resistance area that we need to pay attention to. And on the weekly, uh, again on the Dow, we're at resistance right now. Look at this. Let's take this back. Wow. We have support here, resistance right here. Do you see that? Where we broke it, came up. Resistance, resistance again right there. 
Wow, check this out. So for the week, that was strong. We closed over a massive... Oh, hold on. I'm not quite on this one. I need to put this right at the top of this. Ah, we're at that resistance. I mean, we are right at it. Drawing these trend lines, you need to be spot on. And right there, we closed right at resistance. So any move to the upside, making any highs at all going into next week would be bullish. But we need to stay above this trend line to remain bullish. So next week needs to be a very bullish week. We remain, as far as the CCI is concerned, in overbought territory. So we're extended definitely to the upside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is week number ten. The markets are going. I mean, uh, you're going to be able to count ten just a few times on your hand, going back several years on ha that many um, bars in a row going up. So we are at an area of resistance that we need to be watching out for on the weekly and the Dow monthly. Here we are. We remain in this nice channel and we stop at a resistance point and we showed you this last weekend, 12,086. I mean, that's right. We, we closed here at 12,092. So we're just a smidgen over that. We have major resistance coming up at 12,255. We need to blast through all those and keep running up here. But we're up several bars also. Very extended. Stochastics has us way overbought right now on the monthly. Oh, a lot of people ask, why do I use a, um, a stochastics and a, a something like a CCI, um, you know, down here for... Uh, um, on my larger time frames because the larger time frames help me uh, see overbought and oversold areas and I want to see that on these bigger time frames these big big time frames that's that's definitely what I want to see there's another line that I could be drawing right here to here look at this rising wedge we're in mm. yep that's on the weekly gang but Anytime you have a, a banded oscillator, that's what this is. We have an oscillator with two bands, high and a low. Um, very nice showing uh, when you are overbought or oversold. And and same thing on the stochastics. You know, MACD I like to use on my daily, and that's an oscillator also, but it's a centered oscillator, a little different. You don't need to know all those um, things terminologies but definitely need to know how to trade them these indicators and oscillators can be a great help to you in trading but anyway let's keep going here nasdaq nasdaq come down here found a little support we popped up but we first dropped out of this big massive rising wedge big rising wedge we broke down out of that then we pop up here and it started to show like we, we were going to heal itself or get back inside. Didn't happen. We we dropped. Boom. Found some support. Rallied up. But this is going to be a resistance area. Uh, we Going um, on the daily, 2787 will be resistance. 2787. So write that one down. 2787. Here's the weekly on the NASDAQ. And I, we, we're, just, we're almost at resistance right now almost here so for the weekly i mean 2800 2800 is going to be a major major resistance that we need to be watching for 2800 so write that down here's the monthly on the nasdaq we got some room to grow here on the monthly i mean we yeah we're overextended stochastic says we're very overbought we're going to be running into uh, 2800 coming in there. It's going to act as resistance. But um, big area right at 2867. 2867. Then after that, we have this trend line. But the monthly looks pretty good here on the NASDAQ. Overextended, but looks good. Not as much resistance, overhead resistance as we're seeing on some of the others. And Russell's. The Russell's, we had this humongous symmetrical triangle huge symmetrical triangle and we broke out of that symmetrical triangle and we're rallying up 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 we go into a rising wedge rising wedge we did break down what was acting as support 
broke down. Now it's acting as resistance. Find a little support here, rallying up. We did close over 800. Knock on wood. That's very nice to see high base. And so I would say, you know, next week we'd be looking at this area for sure. M807, 808, 808 is resistance and also that trend line right there. So here we are looking at the weekly and the weekly run up, 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 up. We started to pull back, but we rallied higher and there's that 800. We closed just over it. But for the week, we have resistance at... 819, 820, 820 is resistance, 820, remember 820, that's a big one, 820, <sighs> someone's going to have to email me these numbers, if you'd be so kind, go to contact us and <laughs> email me these numbers, I haven't, I'm not writing them down, um, right here, but anyway, here we are, we were in up, 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 up on the monthly, we're very extended, Stochastic says we're overbought, and uh, we have a lower high, higher low. So look at this lower high. The first time. I mean, it's been a while. I mean, I mean, I mean, the month's just getting started here. So, but we need to make a higher high. If we have the higher low, we need to make a higher high. I do see resistance popping up here around 843, and then definitely 850. Yep, that's it. Hey, um, for you guys out there, just a heads up, uh, Valentine's falls on a Monday. If you're anything like me, the day before you're thinking about doing things, well, that would be a Sunday and a lot of places are closed. A little tidbit for you. actually have something sent to her on Friday at work. That would give you some great points and um, have yourself covered. And we have the Super Bowl coming up. I'm a big football fan. And I'm picking Green Bay 37-34. to 34. Now, if I have earned a thumbs up, please give that to me. Furthermore, you know what? Something else. I don't have this. I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to. This weekend only, Saturday and Sunday. If anybody purchases the 201 videos, the 201 videos, I'm going to mail you a Grok Trade long sleeve t-shirt. I have some extras here. And anybody that buys the 201 courses, they're highly, they're very in-depth, they're very comprehensive, and it will take your trading to a whole new level. I had one of my Grok graduates tell me he's watching it for the third time today because of all the nuggets and all the notes he's taken on these on these courses. They're they're they are the best. You're not going to find trading education out there. And I was an educator for some major trading brands, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Teach Me to Trade, Star Trader, Option Success, a lot of brands that I was uh, that I taught for as a mentor, as a coach, um, as a speaker. So these groups um, t do one thing very well, and that's put together trading curriculums. Well, I put one together that uh, dwarfs what I believe a lot of the other ones can do for you. So anyway, there it is. Uh, mentoring, we do have that coming up in a few weeks. If you're ready to pull the trigger and make that happen, go to meetthementors.com, fill out the form. We'll get in touch with you and give you all the information you need. Take care and safe trading.